it's time once again to go into our bag and learn from Tichy TV. The last time, however, because there's not much more for Tichy TV to teach us. We've learned how to battle, we've learned what status problems are, we've learned about type matchups. Hop really could have used with that lesson. We uh, learned about how to uh, catch Pokemon, about TMs. Now it is time to learn how to register an item. Teachy TV! Hey, all you trainers out there! Hello, trainers! Come on, let me hear you! Hello, trainers! It's me, the Pokey Dude. A trainer's bag has a bunch of nifty, convenient features. Take stuff in the key items pocket, for instance. You can use a key item without opening the bag every time. Thank you very much, Silence Pote, for the subscription. Four months in a row. That rock will be very useful on my adventure. I'll put that in the rock part of the bag. For example, let's pretend I have a Teachy TV in my bag. What's that? Product placement within my own show? Not as strange as you think. I can register it for instant use, and I'll show you how. Mayhem. Yippee. And Cardius won there with a subscription. Two months. Hi, Kiko. Thanks for many months of entertainment on YouTube and now Twitch. Thank you very much, though I don't know who you're referring to. I'm the Pokey Dude. Thank you, though. Very generous of you. Alrighty, here goes. Keep your eyes glued Mayhem. to the sorta Yippee. Super Pokey Dude show. And that's Cav 2 k with five months working on secret things. Have a great stream. Oh my, are they secret. We shall. Thanks, Cav. Let's go to my bag. There it is. Done. And now Mayhem. your TGTV is registered and long drink MCG there with five months subscribed. Whoa, thank you very much. So very generous of you. How do you use it? Well, here's how it works. Once an item in the key items pocket is registered, you can use it by pressing select. So you've given yourself one touch access to TGTV. All it takes for you to see me is pressing one button. That kind of attention is a little embarrassing. Alrighty, be seeing you. Remember, trainers, a good deed a day brings happiness to stay. Is that it? Am I done? Oh, finally, I'm done. I can quit this. This job's terrible. W wait, are we still rolling? Uh-oh. And with that, we are done with TTTV. There's nothing more TTTV can teach us. If we want to learn more things, we must learn them out in the world. Greetings, folks! It is I, Kikoski, here, welcoming you back to the world of Pokémon, specifically Kanto in Pokémon Fire Red. This is the pre-stream part where you have the opportunity to get here, get comfortable, and get ready for more Pokémon! Last time, we went through Rock Tunnel. Ooh, a pouch of gold! And Dark Dawnstar there with the bits! A 5-bit tip for TGTV, thank you! He appreciates it. We were in here for quite a while, and we were looking for an Onyx. Last time, Fred. Yes, last time, Fred is definitely a thing, because uh, we were searching, and we couldn't find an Onyx. But we did find a lot of Zubats. Now I'm gonna switch in uh, Cabalion, because for the pre-stream part, we are going to actually search one final time for an Onyx. We may find one, we may not, but we're going to try either way. Mayhem. Yippee. And a Phoenix125 there with the subscription. You rise again! That you do! Two months now! Thank you very much, all of you, for being here while we go back into Rock Tunnel for a tiny bit. Chameleon noms the entire bottle. Yep, that's true. Everyone pray for Shiny Fred. That is true, everyone does want to see a Shiny Fred. It's Fred Tunnel. 
And look, it's not Fred. We're only going to be here up until uh, 7 o'clock, then we are going to be leaving, because we have places to go. We have trainers to defeat. We may even have a rival battle in our future. That's really not going to do very much. Fred has not found you yet. Give it time. Give it time. It is indeed uh, a place full of memories. And Onyx is more common later anyway. That is true. Onyx is more common later. I do want to gain some levels for Cabalion, because the rival fight might be quite tricky. And who is it? It's another Mankey! Ooh, a pouch of other bits for shiny Fred. Thank you very much, H HK Traden, but uh, unfortunately that's not how it works. Hopefully we will get a shiny Fred, in which case that'd be awesome. Please grant us shiny Fred. I don't think Pokey Dude can help you there. I really don't think Pokey Dude can. That's more experience. Another level. This level is quite important. No, uh, things gain just yet. Still not Fred. Indeed not. Now let us switch to, uh, Paper Cup. There we go. Gotta be careful, though, because uh, Paper Cup is weak to some of the Pokémon here. In fact, Paper Cup is quite weak to many of the Pokémon here. You, not so much. And, uh, Fon uh Fontana Tessitura there with two months. Two months streak. Halloween likes my rock collection. That is awesome! I'm glad. Rock collections are pretty awesome. And everybody is turning up! Greetings! Hello, all of you! Welcome to Pokemon! And yes, we have not found Fred yet! And we might not, because we only have a few more minutes before we leave! Paper Cup is your weakest Pokemon at the moment? What happened? What happened was Rock Tunnel. Rock Ooh, Tunnel happened! Pouch of gold! Me, but what about. King's Quest 8. Um, no King's Quest 8 right now. It's Pokemon! But thank you very much for the bits, Cleverly Blonde. Thank you very much. We're going to set this rock on fire! And it's not really going to do very much. Are you late? No! We're only just uh, doing a few things in uh, Rock Tunnel before we carry on to the next town. Don't use a rock move. Mayhem. That's not so terrible, though it is going to hurt. And, uh, Fish Poser there. Thank you very much for the, uh, subscription there, five months. Thanks for the welcome distraction from the Mayhem IRL these days. No problem! That was unfortunate. One could say, darn it. It's dead, we will get out Chameleon. You upset Fred so much at the end of last week's Poke Stream, he refuses to come out. That, that could very well, uh, be the case. Magnitude is a very powerful move at times. We prevailed, though. Fred needs green paint and glitter. That is true. Now, let us uh, have a look at our Pokémon. No item there for Tarmo. I'm gonna actually uh, switch you over to here. No, he's only fainted. It's fine, don't worry. We'll be going to a Poké Center pretty quickly. But first, Geodude. Because Chameleon needs a bit of experience. Fred isn't in the tunnel anymore. It's outside everywhere now. You released him from his prison. Oh no! What have we wrought? Magnitude 7. It doesn't affect us because we are flying. Escape rope time? Not needed. We're literally right by the exit. Exit's right there. We can leave whenever we like. Hey look! Absolutely no instances of Fred! You're all right, it's like the game knows. Greetings, Deus Phoenix. A few more fights and then we will leave. Wait, does that mean Fred is the Kanto version of the three legendary doggos? Uh, no, because they're extremely hard to find. Whereas, uh, Fred, not so much. Rock Tunnel is full of rocks. Who'd have thunk it? Well, it's not full of Onyx, that's for sure. Still not found one of them. One more encounter, I feel. And... No... Zubat. No Zubat at all. If, if uh, Zubat ends up being shiny, someone is going to... Uh, yep, someone's going to be very happy. Let us use Tackle here. And one more. 
that really doesn't do very much. The game knows you want a you want a friend, so the game's not giving you one. You know what? That's a good way of me avoiding Zubats. By the way, it's now seven o'clock, and we did not encounter a Zubat or an Onyx, so let us leave and carry on. We're on Route 10. There's a sign here that says this is Rock Tunnel. We're going to be facing these trainers soon enough, but right now, we're going to leave. I feel like I need to get uh, Heart of the Abomination the Pokemon Fusion site gives. Uh, probably not a good idea. Also, there is this trainer here. We want to, uh, we want to, uh, avoid. Ah, yes, there probably is an item. Ah, there it is. There's the item. It's a Nana Berry. Well spotted. Now we need to avoid you. And we need to make sure you're going over there. Because here is Lavender Town. If you thought this game was happy and cheery, this part is going to uh, dampen that mood. Ghosts appeared in Pokemon Tower. I think they're the spirits of Pokemon that the rockets killed. Yep, this place is cheery. I saw Cubone's mother trying to escape from Team Rocket. She was killed trying to get away. Yep, this place is uh, not, not a nice place to be. Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of money. There is no job too dirty, no deed too heinous, no crime too wicked. Indeed, they're truly terrible. You know how the Cubone species wears skulls, right? People will pay a lot for one, and that's what Team Rocket are after. Let's heal up. This is the happiest town in the game. Have you played the same game that we've played? Now we've healed up. We're going to pop back to the area outside Rock Tunnel and get a little bit of experience because we need some experience. Our team are not quite high enough level for what's to come. First things first, we're going to face this person right here. Hello, we're just going to wait here. Hi, kid. Wanna see my Pokemon? No, but we don't get a choice in the matter. It's time for combat! And here's Herman. And here is Cubone. Don't worry, we'll be switching out uh, Arissa in a moment. I did forget about that. Okay, you are a ground Pokemon, so we should be able to use uh, Ember quite safely. It's not going to deal too much damage. Headbutt. Not too bad. You must catch a ghost. We're not going to be able to catch a ghost right now. We don't have the uh, right equipment to do so. Soon, however, we will. One down. And you're about to send out a Slowpoke. We will switch. We're going to switch to, uh, I think, Cabalion. Cabalion seems good. If only to get Cabalion experience. There's Slowpoke. 20 levels of hit point spawn. I show of hands who in desperation to get the next Poke Center this fight and prepared and got uh, Yes, uh, I I ran into this fight the first time round and uh, it was a surprise. Also, thank you very much for the uh, subscription there, Death Guardian. Five months. How time flies. Like Zubats. Zubats fly everywhere. Also, super effective. Kapow. Experience. Victory. Oh no, my Pokemon! We also want your money. I don't like you. I don't like anyone better than me. I don't like anyone in the world! Let us leave and switch out a Risso. We don't need a Risso for the rest of the game now. Because we, uh, we've gone through Rock Tunnel. So, Bill's PC, and move a Risso out. Now, who are we going to put in? Put you there. Who are we going to put into the team? There are lots of people we could put in the team. We uh, have Diglett. We have uh, Ronim. We have uh, an Ekans. All sorts of things. Drowsy we could put in, but we do have Kadabra. Matchup is an option. Matchup is level 17. But then again, we do have uh, Mankey. Then again, there is Diglett. There is Diglett. Oh yes, there is also Pidgeotto. We do sort of need Pidgeotto right now. Hmm. Pidgeotto is only level 21, though. Hmm. 
Zubat for sure. Um, Zubat's level 7. We're putting Sandstar back in. Sandstar is also a bit behind. Level 15. Jigglypuff could work. Um, really what I'm thinking about right now is either uh, Machop, Mankey, or Pidgeotto. Next gym is Grass or Poison. I'm not thinking about the gym right now. The party currently is... Uh, if you go to uh, the party, we have Paper Cup, we have our uh, Kadabra, we have an Oddish, we have our Normal type, and we have our Water type. Who doesn't know any water moves yet, but we could teach uh, our Gyarados a water move, and we might actually do that. Then again, if we do do that, we're probably just going to overwrite it with Surf later. Hmm. Really, I think that we should probably just use uh, Pidgeotto for now, because Pidgeotto is pretty good. There is a temptation for a fighting type. It's tricky. Voltorb, self-destruct your way to victory. I I feel like, uh, probably not. Your stream is my favourite thing to watch while grinding in Temtem. Well, glad to hear it. We'll have this team for the moment. Seems like a pretty solid team, to be honest. We may end up switching out, uh, Tarmo after we, uh, evolve Tarmo. But that is not now. We're not going to continue operations. We're going to deal with more trainers. Tarmo has an item. Let's have a look. That must have been uh, gained after that fight. What do you have? A TM10! Okay, that must have been what was on the uh, page there. Another hidden power. That's pretty neat. Very nice. Well done. There's you we can deal with. And I feel like using... Uh, gonna have you at the front. I didn't actually heal Paper Cup. Didn't actually heal Paper Cup, did I? Darn it. Let's go back. Yeah, the uh, next gyms we can do in uh, all kinds of orders. Grass, Poison, Psychic. Uh, the Dark moves you have will be good against uh, the Psychic one. The Psychic Pokemon we have will be good against Poison. And Paper Cup will be brilliant against the Grass one. Hidden Power is interesting. Uh, I'd have to do a lot of experimentation to figure out what type the um, move is for each of my Pokemon. Don't forget the non-official fighting gym. Oh, don't worry. I won't. Ah, this mountain air is delicious! Om nom 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 nom! Also, Pokemon battle! My name is Trent. I'm going to defeat you. Look, I'm taunting you with this onyx that you didn't capture. Well, it's time to deal with you. By switching to our... Charmedia. Let's go back. We need to get some experience for Pidgeotto. <laughs> yep, onyx is just taunting us right now. We'll get one eventually, just not right now. Fire! Not very effective, though. Bind, however, really not going to do very much. At all. Could use Dig, but we'll just use Amber. There is the uh, thing about Metal Claw being effective, but we are also getting the uh, stab from the fire move. And there's a chance, like there, that we can burn, which will deal damage and half Onyx's attack. Which means that we can obliterate it quite safely. You'll be lucky. My D&D &D dice tells me that your first caught Onyx will be a shiny. Here's the hoping. That'd be nice. And here's a Graveler. Ooh. Graveler, eh? Hmm, that could be be a tricky one. That's an evolved Pokemon, so uh, better stats. More experience, though. And Metal Claw is somewhat inaccurate. Ouch of gold. People want me to uh, use Metal Claw, it seems. Thank you, uh, Ian Makoto. Thank you very much. Let's use Metal Claw. There is also a chance that Graveler could just go kaboom. That is possible. Hydropump is the only water type move it can get through level up at level 40. You're better off with Surf or Waterfall. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh, doing that most likely. Let's use Metal Claw. Not much in it, really. Not much in it. There's Mudsport. I'm just gonna stick with Ember. We could get the burn. Yeah, Metal Claw's not that effective. Ooh, that's bad. 
yeah, the downside of uh, this pairing is that uh, Rock's good against Fire. However, we pretty much not got this because Magnitude 10! That was probably felt all the way in Pallet Town! Darn it. Nothing we could do would help us against that, but at least this means that Pidgeotto can swoop in quite literally for the win. A quick attack? Got it. All the experience is yours, including the level up. There we go. Hiker Trent is defeated. That cleared my head! Also, did you feel that? That earthquake was ridiculous! That it was. I feel bloated on mountain air! Please don't throw up on mountain air. Don't mind me! I'm rushing back to the uh, Pokémon Center with that Charmeleon that you absolutely decimated! Oh, this game. There we go, I think Magnitude 10 is indeed stronger than Earthquake, and Earthquake is pretty strong. Now let's go back, and around, there are two more trainers left to battle. First you! I'm feeling a bit faint, I haven't hiked in some time. Let's battle before I actually do faint. And here is Carol. Hello Carol! You've got a Pidgey, it's level 21! We've got a Pidgeotto, it's level 22. Suffice to say, I think we've got this. We have better stats, and we are a higher evolution. Bird fight! The winner, not surprisingly, is Bird. Experience? And here is a Pidgeotto! We're not going to switch right now. You're level 21 as well! Or rather, you, uh were the same level as us before we leveled ourselves. Quick attack? And you have quick attack, but we are slightly faster. Big Brother, is that you? And combat was afoot between the siblings. Kapow? Ooh, critical hit. I do know about bird type. I know about missing no. 500 experience. I'm too tired. I wasn't up for it. We get the win, and it's time to face you. <laughs> uh, wait, there aren't that many ha ha ha's there. Oh. Pokemon battle! And thus, Pokemon battle. A pouch of gold? The sleeper has awakened! Thank you, Ian Makoto, for the bits there! We're facing two Pokémon, and the first is a Geodude. And here I thought Bird would win. Well, Bird won. Switching to, uh, Chameleon here. He once saw an Onyx, and that's why he's laughing. Bird didn't win, but Bird won! Yeah, that's also going to be quite effective, uh, because flying. However, we have Bite! And Bite's pretty effective here. And the Geodude flinched, which means... More Bite! Chameleon eats rocks for breakfast! Also, level 23 for Mr. Dark. And more experience for you! Uh, here's another Onyx, everyone! You better get some more experience and catch up! Level 23, and greetings, uh, Flopsy Doodle! Greetings, everyone that's turning up! Glad to have you all here. No flinching mechanic uh, makes Quake way harder than it needs to be. Now. I think you're referring to uh, the FPS rather than uh, the move here. This Onyx loves to troll Kiko. Yep, I've faced many an Onyx so far. And none of them are especially effective, as they are more tanky Pokémon than powerful ones. Gonna take us three hits, but you missed with Bind! Okay. Harden's really not going to help you here. Because of this. Kapow! And we win! Victory!
<laughs> Not laughing. Help. Curse to laugh forever. <laughs> oh, please. Please make it stop. <laughs> oh, it's actually hay fever. <laughs> and a curse. Both together. Curse with hay fever. Also have money. Please help. <laughs> please. Please don't leave. You've got to help me. Bye. Not our problem. And now let us go. Hey, take this money. Get me medicate. Now he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Now let us heal. And go and explore Lavender Town. Briefly. Let's go. There'll be plenty of happy things to see. Like all the NPCs outside. Like you! This town is known as the grave site of Pokemon. Memorial services are held in Pokemon Tower. Who wants to bet that we're going there? Answer? We're going there. Oh, small child. Hello. Do you believe in ghosts? No. <laughs> I guess not. That white hand on your shoulder. I'm just imagining it. Made you look. <laughs> Darn it. Let's go into here now. And talk to you. Hello, hello! I am the official name rater. Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? Sure! Which Pokemon's nickname should I critique? How about Paper Cup? Paper Cup, is it? That's a decent nickname. But would you like me to give it a nicer name? How about it? A nicer name than Paper Cup? Mayhem! Yippee! A nicer name than Paper Cup? Also, thank you, Wolverine6170, for the subscription. Four months. How is Fred today? Cheers, everyone! Fred has not been here. Fred is surprisingly absent. We're gonna say no. I see. Do come visit again. Why is it named Paper Cup? Because that's the one I named. Named after the greatest inventory item ever in any point-and-click adventure game. The paper cup. Those horrible rockets. They deserve no mercy. That poor Cubone's mother. It was killed trying to escape from Team Rocket. Aww. It's so sad. This Cubone doesn't have a mother anymore. We will avenge you, Cubone. Now let's go into this building here. This is the Lavender Volunteer Pokemon House. Let's talk to you. That's odd. Mr. Fu Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? Here's Nidorino. An old dragon has appeared. With a raid! Thank you very much. Welcome, everyone. And Canis Rufus UK just subscribed. Five months! Whoa, thank you very much. So very generous, all of you. This is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after abandoned and orphaned Pokemon. Also, there's a Psyduck here. Greetings, old dragon. How goes it? It's so warm. Pokemon are so nice to hug. Hello, Psyduck. How are you? Psyduck is deep in thought right now, thinking deep thoughts about deep things. Let's leave Psyduck to his thoughts. And read this. Pokemon Fan Magazine Monthly Grand Prize Drawing. The application form is... gone! It's been clipped out. Someone must have applied already. Was it you, Psyduck? Was it you? You don't need to say anything. I know. Now let us go and, uh, check in at the Pokemart. We haven't been to one for a while. There are people to talk to. I'm searching for items that raise the stats of Pokemon. They're effective over the course of a single battle. X attack, X defend, X speed, and X special are what I'm after. Do you know where I can get them? But if you tried asking the person behind the counter, they're pretty good at dealing with, uh, questions like that. Did you buy some revives? They revive any fainted Pokemon. I may do. Sometimes a trainer duo will challenge you with two Pokemon at the same time. If that happens, you have to send out two Pokemon to battle too. 
Ooh, double battles. Hi there, may I help you? We want to buy things. We can buy super potions. Ooh, we can buy great balls. We're going to buy a few of these. And by a few, I mean... Maybe 40? I will buy 50, why not? I will actually buy 40. That should probably be enough. Bit overkill? No, it really isn't. We're going to be using a lot of great balls as time goes on. We'll buy them. Just a couple. We're also going to buy some super potions. How many? Uh, 20. Seems like a good round number. That's 14,000. Bought. And revives. We only have two. Oh, we need a couple more. I would say eight. Done. And that will probably do us, I think. How many of these do we have? Four, five, one. We could do with a few more of them. We'll be uh, saving a lot of money as time goes on. Antidotes. A couple more of these. Seven. And there we go. 10,017 change. Trust me, we're going to be using those uh, great balls. Now let us head into, after we save, the tower. Let's save. We're out of money versus Seeker and defeat that one. No, 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 we'll be getting lots of money. Don't worry. Here's the Pokemon Tower. Here's the music. I came to pray for my dearly departed Clefairy. <laughs> I'm awash with tears. This is not a happy place. Did you come to pay respects? Bless your Pokemon loving heart, son. There is a reason to go in here. Just one. My Growlithe, why did you die? Mayhem! Yippee! Uncle Putt there, subscribe, tier one, five months. Hello, 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 greetings! We're about to have a Pokemon battle. I am a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief. Mayhem! Yippee! I sense them high in the tower. Laika013 just subscribed for three months. Woohoo! Finally caught a stream again! Welcome! Thank you very much, you're so very generous. I can just imagine Kiko here looking at the channeler, wondering what on earth the channeler is on about, considering that the channeler just said that. Now let's go upstairs and find a familiar face! Who's that I see in the tower? Who else could it possibly be? It's the one, it's the only, it's Grouch. Let's switch Pokemon because we need to have a strong Pokemon to start with. I think Tarmo might be good here. And then the game just turned dark. Hello. Hey Kiko, what brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive! I can at least make them faint. Let's go! Rival battle! And this is an unavoidable one. Here is the ever smug Grouch, and Grouch has five Pokemon now, and starts with Pidgeotto, who's now level 25. We need to uh, move quickly here. I feel like a cut will be sufficient to start. We hit quite hard. Gust will also hit quite hard, though. We may be fighting a losing battle here. And quick attack! Oh, that hits really hard, too. Fortunately, we can switch out to Cabalion. We have a team that will work together to prevail. Also, this works to lower Pidgeotto's attack. You can try and hit me. I mean, you can try. We're ready for you, though. You're not going to be doing very much to Gabalion. We're just too tanky. And you're not tanky enough. 301 experience, 301 experience. 
Next in is a Growlithe. You know what? I'm not gonna switch here. We're gonna stay with Cabanian. Level 23? We can deal with, uh, you have a bird? Here, meet a dragon. Yep, time to bite. Ember? Not gonna do very much at all. We'll try tackle. That dealt about the same. We're gonna stick with, uh, bite for the, uh, chance to flinch. We'll eventually whittle you down. No roar here, so we're not gonna be, uh, catapulted out of the combat. You have a tiny slither of health. Remember when the uh, second rival fight happened and that was a really tricky one? We're roughly on par now with the rival, and we still have one extra Pokemon. Also, lots of experience. Level 25. And Dragon Rage! Oh, <laughs> the move that deals quite a bit of damage. Also, execute. You know what? We're gonna stay here. This seems like a pretty good matchup because you are Grass Psychic and we have a Dark move. We will destroy those eggs, provided, of course, we can stay awake, which we currently can't. Darn it. I have a plan, though. The plan is that we are uh, going to do some healing. We have these super potions, we might as well use them. Otamo! You may use confusion if you like. And uh, we shall uh, see if we can hit you now. Nope, still asleep. You can do four times damage if your attack is good. Yep, if your attack is doubly super effective, you deal four times damage. Still asleep, eh? Fusion again. We'll wake up eventually. There we go! And Execute is gone. Nice one. Gyarados, uh, yeah, should definitely avoid electric type attacks. Definitely. Ooh, it's Kadabra. Ooh, this one's gonna be tricky. Uh, do want to switch. Kadabra hits really, really hard. Tamo, you have a dark move. Let's see how well we do. Can you outspeed a Kadabra five levels lower than you? Yes. It was only enough to knock you down to 50% uh, health, though. Fortunately, we're still faster. Greetings, um, Zakaria89. Kadabra was no match for the cat. And Wartortle! And we know who we're using for Wartortle. Zephyrus. Who got a lot of experience in uh, Rock Tunnel. So much so that we outlevel Wartortle. Who is about to face the true power of grass types. Drain! Wartortle is quite tanky. However, we have nothing but time. It's renamed to Fred Tunnel nowadays. These days it is. We'll get you, Wartortle. We really need a more effective uh, grass move. We haven't had uh, the opportunity to get one for quite a while, or at all. But eventually, why not put a uh, poison powder on it? Because we can just kill it in four moves. There's no need. Why do something that will deal a tiny amount of uh, damage where we can just do something that will uh, take a quarter of the health away every time? And there we go. Just shy of a level. And an easy win. What? You stinker. I took it easy on you too. Sure. We got 900. How's your Pokedex coming? I just caught a Cubone. I can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, unlike you. Smell you later.
Still the greatest catchphrase ever. We can't really do anything here, however, so we're just gonna leave. That was all we came here for, that fight. And it'll be awesome if your foe would from this moment on use completely different Pokemon. No, no, we haven't killed any Pokemon, we just make them faint. Case in point, we've had fainted Pokemon and Pokemon Center brought them right back. Just roused them, healed them, and then they were good to go. Now, there are two ways that we can go. Two ways that we can go. And we could go this way, over here, and uh, progress that way. Or we can go this way. And we're going to go on Route 12 right now. Why? Because signs. Route to Lavender. Anything here? No. Anything in here, though? Yes. You! There's a lookout spot upstairs. The view is magnificent. We'll be the judge of that. Let's talk to you. My Pokemon's ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. Free TM! TM27 is a move called Return. If you treat your Pokemon good, it will return your love by working its hardest in battle. This is a move that would be great for Tarmo, because uh, Tarmo could gain a lot of power with that, but I don't know how powerful it is right now. Either way, let's move on. And consider battling you with Pidgeotto, because uh, Pidgeotto could do with some levels. Hello. Yeah, I got a bite here. I'm going to immediately put this in a Pokeball and battle you with it. Three Pokemon. Hey look, it's Goldeen. You thought it would be a Magikarp. Nope. Goldeen. Let's fight. Let us uh, use Gust. See how effective that is. The answer is moderately effective. Supersonic actually missed, folks. You'd be surprised how little that's happened so far. Quick attack is a little bit better. There is a horn attack. We'll be fine, though. Victory. Experience. And a Poliwag. We're going to keep you out here. Yeah, Supersonic only has an accuracy of 55, but so far Supersonic has been really accurate in this playthrough. I've been quite unlucky. Kapow. Double slap. Of course, hits twice. Remember that episode where I really haven't uh, seen any Pokemon cartoons at all. Haven't seen any of them. So I can't really say. And there we go. Victory! More experience. And finally, another Goldeen. Let's go. And quick attack. Kapow! Water sport, eh? Fire's power was weakened. I'd be very surprised if fire was being used in this battle in general. Oh look, Supersonic missed again. And quick attack one more time. Critical hit, not needed, but appreciated. Level 24. Marvelous. And victory, we beat Ned. Ugh, just a small fry. And we got money. Hang on. My line snagged! That sounds like a you problem. Speaking of problems, we need to teleport away from ours, because we have healing to do. Off we go! The free healing is right here. Why don't we take advantage of it? Constantly! Kika used teleport. It's super effective! It'll never stop being effective. And then... I keep it for the entire playthrough. It could happen. It could happen. Now let us uh, keep going. And there we go. We're back here. We can't get that because we can't use Surf. But we can fight you. Be patient. Fishing is a waiting game. Time for a Pokemon battle. Wait, you don't mind, do you? 
that Pokemon are predominantly fish. I've got two of them. This is a tentacle. It's actually a water poison type, so, uh, we're gonna be switching over to our, uh, well, I'm not gonna be switching, but you'll be switching to your psychic Pokemon. Darn, you actually have one. That's, uh, kinda awkward. And you didn't? Poison. Psybeam! Oh, Kadabra. You're still ridiculously powerful. Experience. And here's a Goldeen. We're gonna switch back to, uh... Mr. Dark here. Brain melted. No, no, no. Just fainted. Quick attack. And then... Ah, supersonic work this time. We are confused. Confuzzled. Bewildered. Perplexed. That's how perplexed we are. Ow. And cast me there with the subscription. Five months. Five. Ah, ah, ah. One of these days I'll come up with something else to say for these. No, that's absolutely fine. Why break with tradition? We're going two for two on hitting ourselves here. Oh dear. Okay, time to switch away. Time to switch away to Tamo, who will throw money at the Goldeen. Best way to solve our problem here. Also, Tamo very close to leveling. Heyday! Coins scattered everywhere. Flail! Ooh! Ouch. Cut. Uh-oh. Okay, confusion. Right, we have choices here. And one of them is to switch away. Yep, I'm doing it. I'm switching away. We get one shot at this? No, nope, we have many because we have a team. Why go for a risk when we can go for the guarantee? This fish has a bone to pick with you and your Pokemon. Yes, indeed. We have a dragon. I like that move. It's a good move. Tomo level up. And Kabadin got experience. Have you seen or tried Shroud of the Avatar? I've seen it, haven't tried it. That one got away. And we got money. And more money. With a better rod, I could catch better Pokemon. You better teleport away because some of your Pokemon took a lot of damage. How did you know what I was going to do? Let's go to the healing place in Lavender Town. We are here. He knows the future. That he does. For we are here. Uh, actually, Cabalion is a water flying Pokemon. But is sort of a dragon. There are uh, pseudo dragons, as it were. And Cabalion is one of them. Red cycle. Little head bob there. Fortunately, we can cycle through here. Nobody seems to mind. And let's go through here. And over to you. Hello. The fishing fool versus Pokemon Kid. Wait, did I call myself a fool? Well, better roll with it now. I'm Hank, by the way. I have a Goldeen. It's slightly better than all the Goldeens you've been encountering so far. So much so that you probably better switch to your ever-dependable grass type. Wait, why am I setting myself up to fail? I'm a terrible trainer. You may have weakened Fire's power, but Fire had no power here already. Oh dear. It seems like we're in some bother. Come on, Zephyrus. Hey! Success! Not a lot of damage, but success. Horn attack. And we're no longer confused. Hurrah! It does no dragon uh, um, type attacks. Um, many Pokemon can learn moves that aren't necessarily of their types. I mean, our, uh, our Charmeleon has dig. Magikarp is far better than Solrock. Did you know that Solrock actually has attack moves? I've seen them happen. 
Got two. Also, level up. Aha! And we won. Touch too much. We well, got some money. I guess you get to be good at what you like. Well, you beat me at Pokemon, but you can't top me at fishing. We'll see about that. I love fishing, don't get me wrong. But it'd be best if I also had more work. Let's see how many Pokemon you have. Elliot, you have four. They're probably going to be quite weak. I've seen a uh, battle where um, Soul Rock did nothing but attack moves. Admittedly, those attack moves weren't very effective against the Pokemon that it was up against, but they were attack moves. And uh, you joke, uh, Bindle, but uh, typically nowadays, Magikarp can have a full complement of uh, offensive moves. You can have uh, Tackle, Flail, Bounce, and Hydro Pump. And we're not going to be uh, switching Pokemon here. We're fine. Just challenge Giga to an Onyx finding challenge and you'll win, in, you'll win in no time. I mean, you're not wrong. It's a tackle off, and the winner is going to be the person who actually has tackle because we have quick attack. That said, we're faster anyway. You know that the uh, shiny shelter is gold? It's quite cool looking. I'm impressed and jealous. Almost all the time I see Soul Rock in raid battles is cosmic power and then it faints. That does typically happen to be fair. I said once it happened. I didn't say it happens all the time. And Goldie. We're not gonna switch, we'll be fine as we are. It may be gold, but it's no shiny Fred. There is no shiny Fred so far. We haven't found one. And we probably never will in this playthrough. The odds are just so low. Also, critical hit. Goodbye, Goldie. And it's time for Horsey. It's a little seahorse that we're about to hit with quick attack. Greetings, Sub Zero. Welcome to the stream. Shiny Fred lives in your and our hearts, indeed. But not on this screen. Not on this screen. Time for bubbles. Everyone loves bubbles. What a cute creature to be destroyed by Kiko. It's okay. Horsey will just faint. And then, Pokemon Center, good as new. I see what you did there, Bindle. I see what you did. It's not easy. No, it is not. It's alright. Losing doesn't bug me anymore. Over here. Ah. Going to go back, because that, I think, is our first double trainer battle? And we're going to need a proper team for that one. As in, we're going to need to heal up and uh, make sure we have the right people at the front. And I'm probably going to have a Paper Cup and Tarmo. Seems like a good starting pair. I see you draw what you did there. Uh-oh, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Now, let's switch out you to here. Actually, I want Cabalion at the front, and uh, you... Actually, I don't want to uh, check this. I want you there. Like that. Perfect. Cycling time! Save us from the Poke Puns? I'm sorry, I can't. I'll probably be the one actually instigating them. I make no apologies. You should know what you're in for at this point. See? People are just carrying them on and I'm letting it happen. Because puns. Let's save for these two. They're looking out of the sea. It's time to ruin their day by challenging them to a Pokemon battle. Hello. If I win, I'm going to propose to Gia. Are you now? Oh, here they are! Young couple Gia and Jess would like to battle. Look at how happy they are! Nidoran male and Nidoran female. Okay. Really should have had the psychic Pokemon appear, but I'm not gonna lose. 
the correct word is lose there. But uh, I'm going to win. We're going to use fire on Nidoran female. And then we're going to use dragon rage on Nidoran female. We're going to eliminate one. Uh-oh. You're ready to help. We're going to eliminate one and then focus on the other. We're not going to need to use uh, dig here. That was sufficient. One down. One to go. Poison Sting. And it poisoned. Because of course it did. It's okay though. We'll heal that next turn. Epa. Dragon Rage. And thus, you were crushed. There will be no proposal today. Victory! Oh, please, why couldn't you let us win? You know, you could just propose now. Doesn't have to be a caveat to it. Oh, dear, forgive me, my love. Yes, you silly. You ruined this. Oh. Sounds like we might have ruined things quite badly. Uh, let's just quickly use our antidote and then leave. Seems like a good idea. I'm sure they'll be fine. On the tiny unrelated note, let's just go. Uh, switch you out. And carry on heading. Oh. Pokemon has sprawled out in a deep and comfortable slumber. Not sure we're going to be going any further right now. You appear to be blocking the way. We're not going to poke it. You don't poke the Snorlax never ends well. What we're actually going to do is cycle all the way back. Yes, we could be teleporting, but for the sake of variety, we will cycle. We can't climb over the Snorlax. I don't think a Snorlax has a set name. I think you can rename a Snorlax. Can't throw a Pokeball at it yet. We need to get something to wake the Snorlax first. Unfortunately, we can't get that until we can go through Lavender, Lavender Tower. And we can't go through Lavender Tower yet until we deal with somewhere else. It's all linked up, it's all connected, which means we're going this way. On this route. Theoretically, we probably should have come to this route first, but we did a little bit of sequence uh, breaking. Well, to be fair, it's not really sequence breaking because uh, we have to come here at some point. Hello. What's what's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? It's Voltorb, isn't it? Tell me it's Voltorb. We're going to be facing a Voltorb, everyone. Guarantee it. It's going to be a Voltorb. Julia has two Pokemon. Here we go. It's... That's not Voltorb. I was lied to. As punishment, quick attack. Ah, you missed. You were trying to use Sing. It was not effective. Also, coughing would have worked. Coughing would have worked too. Might have cute charm, but it doesn't. It's a Volt Orb in disguise. Jigglypuff from above. I always remember that one. 319 experience. Close. And here is another Clefairy. Hello. How goes it? Do you wish to be defeated by a uh, copious use of quick attack? I think you don't, but it's going to happen anyway. Pretty soon you'll be gone. That has not hit once for you. Not even once. You know, you did that before and I'm still just going to hit you. And this is when it uses metronome and absolutely obliterates me. Thunderbolts. Could happen. You know I actually bred a uh, shiny Cleffa in uh, Sword and Shield just to make... The plan was to make a Pokemon with things like Metronome, Mimic, Encore. Just a really silly one. Stop! Don't be so mean to my Clefairy! And... Money. I read that Clefairy evolves when it's exposed to a Moonstone. I read that in a Pokemon journal. I wonder if it's true. Nah, clearly it's not true. Also, for anybody curious, I did finish making my uh, Sword and Shield shiny team that is all pink. 
They're all in heel balls, by the way. We have a uh, shiny far-fetched Kanto version. We have a shiny uh, Ribombi, a shiny Poltergeist, a shiny. Uh, there is a Quagsire, a Toxtricity. Is that six? There were six. There are definitely six. Uh, oh, and Weavile. That's it. Weavile. It's the Opal Approved team. The uh, the final one took about 1,300 eggs, and then three eggs later in the same batch, there was a second one. I'm a rambling gambling dude! How do you do, fellow young Pokemon trainer? I'm hip with the kids, down with the lingo. My name's Rich, and I have a Growlithe! Do you like it? I've practiced that for a long time. Let us have at thee, with quick attack. He's about to not be. Yep. Well, never mind. Did you really want to switch into Kadabra? All right. Sure. You did not want to switch into Kadabra. That was a foolish decision. Yeah, that wasn't smart. Vulpix, though. Uh, well, we'll we'll keep uh, you out actually. I raised it after a thousand eggs. Couldn't care more. It's uh, it was one thousand three hundred eggs or so for the uh, shiny Sinistee, and it was in a batch of ninety because I get three boxes of them. So I kept hatching the other ones, and then three eggs later, there was number two. It's the first time that's ever happened for them. And there's Gamer Rich. Missed the big chance. Hey, do you think I could travel along with you? I could be your plucky sidekick that keeps uh. Putting out one-liners. No? Darn it. You missed Voltorb that wasn't Voltorb. Playing games and Pokemon, I like eating peanuts. I just can't stop. Well, you know what they say. When you run out of peanuts, don't go to the store to get more peanuts if you can't stop eating peanuts. Also, if you have a peanut allergy, don't eat peanuts. It's not good. You should be informed. You need strategy to win at this. It's time to duel! I mean, I mean, play Pokemon. Sorry, wrong game, got carried away. It's a Grimer. It's a poison type. We're switching. Because if there's one thing we don't want, it's to face a poison type with a bird. We'll face it with a psychic Pokemon though. Oh no, you are small. This means your evasiveness has rose. So much so that we couldn't hit you. You're making yourself even harder to hit. If only we had Swift, then we wouldn't miss. Oh dear. I see what your game is. It's take forever and so hope that I actually decide to give up. We only need to hit you once though. That Grimer looks very surprised. <gasps> I'm in a barrel! Oh go! Experience! And a level! And it's a muck! Did you see Grimer? Here's the bigger one! We're not going to mess around this time. Psybeam immediately. Kapow! Grimer with regret. Yep. Regretted facing. Nadashiko. Also, lots of experience there, and another Grimer. Let's go. Was your strategy use the same Pokemon? Because if that's your strategy, uh, opponent, it's not a very good one. It needs some work. You don't muck around with that one. No, I don't. I see what you did there, too. It's not logical. It, I had five mana, and then I used the coin. Oh, also wrong game. Um... You sunk my battleship? Well, you got money, though. Go with Grimer first, and... And then... Um... Just leave. And leave we... Oh. Hello. I think we've encountered a scene from a horror movie. It's right there. Just staring at us. And, uh, Mio365, they're subscribed. 
four months. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. So very generous, all of you. Let's go. We'll shock you with our twin power. Go! Twins Ellie and Anne would like to battle, and they have a Clefairy and Jigglypuff. Uh-oh. With their powers combined, they are unstoppable! Or they are two to three levels lower than us. I mean, Clefairy can learn uh, electric moves. However, we're just going to deal with Jigglypuff right now. Actually, we're going to do this. First, Dragon Rage. Then, suddenly there is no Paper Cup! It's a cutting ruse. That missed. Defense Curl. Wonder Twin Powers activate! Meanwhile, it's a one-on-two battle. That doesn't seem very fair at all. It's alright, though. Cabalia needs no other Pokémon to help. Surprise! It really didn't do very much. That was not worth it. But it was fun. Ball Defense Curl, eh? Well, that's okay. We'll have you, uh... Use a Bite here. And you're just going to use fire on... Note, by the way, that you can hit your ally. You don't want to hit your ally. One down. Now it's a two-on-one fight. I'm not going to do it, HK Raiden. Why would I want to? Why is it even an option? Because sometimes you actually may want to do it. It's very rare. And there are some moves that will hit uh, your allies and your enemies. Let us uh, have you use Bite, and have you use Ember. Nice to see you, Mr. Dark! Your Pokémon has been gaining some levels. And you're burned, which pretty much spells your doom. I mean, you can shrink if you like, Clefairy. It's, uh, it's not gonna work. There we go. Kapow! What if you want to hit an ally who has a water absorb with a water type move? See? That's one of the uh, niche examples. Our twin power! It was destroyed. I'm raising Pokemon with Ellie. I caught my Pokemon with Anne. And I was given one by a professor. Also, that's a lot of trainers. You know what? I feel like going this way. Through here. Let's try and cut it down. Tarmo, go! Also, we're gonna check to see if Tarmo has an item, and Tarmo does not have an item. Anyone in here? The answer is no, but there is grass. And there's a Meowth. Go, Chameleon! It's time to wake you up. Even when asleep, Chameleon is intimidating. We'll just wait. Better to do this than have an antidote used. I mean, it's not like Cabalion's going to take very much damage. At all. There's a Firestone in that plot of land, if I'm not mistaken. Let's have a look. That's no Meowth, that's George. And we've woken up. And one more sleeps threateningly. And one more, uh, might should do it. There we go. Victory is ours. Now, where is that? Right there. There's a Leperberry. And... There is a Lumberry. And here is an encounter. Do we have? We don't have one of these. Okay, this is a new one. We don't have a Growlithe. We don't have one. Everyone is excited for the puppy. We will try to get one. Let's see if we can do it. Darn it. I tried, but raw. Also Rawstberry. Let's use that item finder. We'll find another one. Don't worry, we'll find one. Let's use the uh, item finder here. Nope, no items here. 
Let's find another one. That's a Pidgey. Don't really want to find a, uh... No, 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 I, I want to, uh, weaken it. That's the thing. Um, it's not likely that the, um, the Great Ball will work. So we do need to, at the very least, weaken it. That'll probably... Ooh, nearly. Not quite. The Flame Dog did indeed scare us away. And now we have Kiko trying to find another one for two hours. We'll certainly try. Anything here? It's an Ekans. Not quite what we wanted. Yeah, switch to Gloom, but Fire-type. That's the problem. It's a Fire-type, and, uh... Zahifus is, uh, made of grass. Ooh, nearly took you out in one hit. Also, this is a good opportunity to uh, get a little bit of training for, uh, Cabanium. And everyone else that needs to gain levels. Gloom can handle it. I... I wish I could be as confident as you are about that. I really wish I could. There's a patch of grass nearby Kikoski different from the previous. Aha! Here's another one! Okay. If we fight, we could potentially get a flinch. Let's see if we can do this. Also, you have Intimidate as well. Dragon Rage could also work. Let's give that a go. Ha-ha! Oh, that was really... Darn it. Alas. Alas. There is one patch of grass that is different from the others. I'm trying to look for that patch of grass. Two right, one down. I'm looking really closely here. I mean, there's this one. The ones with... I'm trying to find it. There's a lot of things going on on the screen. Oh, yes! That one is a little different. But there's nothing there. The item finder didn't bring anything up. It's not bringing anything up at all. There's no response here. No response. No response here either. Now, let's find another Growlithe. Okay, Growlithe, take three here. Take three. Let's see if we can get you in this Pokeball. Let's hope we don't faint you. Fortunately, this does set damage. Hey, you didn't use Raw this time. You know what that means? Great ball! Go! One, two, three. Ha ha! Growlithe was caught. And the data was added to the Pokédex. Very friendly and faithful to people, it will try to repel enemies by barking and biting. Give a nickname to the catch of Growlithe? Of course! What nickname do we give it? What nickname do we give? Only a, uh, mod can do the exclamation mark pick, and it's Nolden! Congratulations, Nolden! You are... the... Growlithe. Congratulations! You are the dog. Look at that dog. Such a good dog. Transfer to the PC, to box one. So there's that patch, there's that patch, and there's that patch. I don't think there's anything else here. I really don't think there is. I'm just gonna leave. And we're going to use a uh, cut to move through. Oh. Hello. You appear to be cycling about. And there's all of you. We must look silly standing here like this. You're not wrong! You are not wrong! There must be an explanation. Also, you have five Pokemon. Megan, you're serious about this training malark. Never mind, you have Pidgey. Never mind, you have Pidgey. 
and they're all level 19. Hmm. There's a strategy here. I'm not quite sure I see it, but there's a strategy. I think I'm just going to use Bite here. One down. Two good experience. It's a Pikachu. Okay, we're switching. And with that, we are switching to Paper Cup. It's a Pikachu. It's level 19. We're a water flying. We're switching. Yep. We're also digging a hole. That's what we think about you trying to defeat Cabalion. I don't need to do anything here. This is the best part of this move. I can just sit here and relax while Pikachu misses. And then we destroy Pikachu. Gyarados would have been fine. I'm not so sure about that. However, we were paralyzed. Darn it. A lot of experience, though. Level 25. And Rattata. Well, we are going to switch here. I think it's time for Cabalion to come back out. We should be fine. And there you are. Also level 19. Destroy. Destroy. That's pretty much what's happening. You know what? Why not? Dragon Rage! One hit! Nice. Level 26. I'm confident in your battling capacity. I'm glad that you are. Also, poison type. Time for our psychic Pokemon. And it's totally fair. I mean, if she'd have just spent the time getting a uh, Magikarp and tending to it and loving it and showing it care and affection, she too would have a dragon. But how many people do that? How many people put in that effort? The answer is not many. Also, it's Meowth. You know what? There's only one thing we can do here. If it's a Meowth, we must oppose it with our Meowth. And throw money at its face. It is the only way. Yep, money fight. Oh, wow. That hurt. Well, maybe if she would picked a few less Pokemon, the experience wouldn't be so spread out, and then she'd have a Gyarados. And there we go. While Gyarados may not be a dragon type in the strictest sense, does learn dragon moves naturally, so is kind of still a dragon. Look what you did to my poor cute Pokemon! Well, you know what I'm going to be doing? Picking up all this money, and then talking to you. Saffron's gatekeeper won't let us go through. I know he's doing his job, but I think he's mean. You know what I think? Uh, I think it's time to teleport away, because some of our moves are running low, and uh, Paper Cup is currently paralyzed, and, you know, we're not that far away. We, we might as well. You know what, I'm just going to go heal. It's free. It's free. There we go. Do, 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 do healing. I know that wasn't a key, but it's okay. Because the healing was priceless. Smacked in the face with a gold brick. It's okay, Meowth will get better. Let's quickly cycle back. And deal with... We spoke to you. Who throws a gold bar in the middle of a battle? Tarmo, that's who. Switching to you now? You know what Kiko thinks? Um... Let's have his battle, that's what I think. Meowth is so cute. Meow, meow, meow. I think I know what this trainer is going to have. I think Voltorb. What do you think? Three Pokemon? Voltorb, Voltorb, and Voltorb? Yes? I was lied to. We were all lied to. I thought it would be Voltorb. Let's use Ember. Okay! Paper Cup is angry at being lied to! It's like, no! I was promised Voltorb! Also, this person has three meows, don't they? Ooh, and a burn as well! Nice. Now, 
Let's use Ember again. Finish off this one. Two down. Unfortunately, Attract only works with a uh, physical move, and we're not using one. We're using special moves. And there's a scratch. Not going to do very much. And there we... Ooh! Oh, thanks for the money! I appreciate that. That's going to be useful. Kapow! Experience. Victory. Andrea has been defeated. Meow! Money? Oh, we don't get the money if you throw it. Oh, I see. I think Pidgey and Rattata are cute too. And now... You. I like Nidoran, so I collect them. Hmm. Alright, people. She likes Nidoran, so she collects them. What Pokemon do you think Paige has? I mean, I'm just going out on a limb here. I think it's going to be Voltorb. I mean, it's it's logical. I mean, look, literally holding the Pokemon right there, it's obviously going to be Voltorb. I was lied to. We were all lied to. Pippicup is angry about being lied to. See? The rage is real! Look at that rage! immediately takes it down to a slither. Do not mess with Paper Cup. Also, Poison Point just poisoned Paper Cup. Darn it. We're not switching. We are still enraged. That poison may be ticking down, but we are not done. We are not done. Another critical hit. Paper Cup is furious! You have only increased Paper Cup's rage! Fortunately, that's just enough to prevail. Just enough. And a level up too! Marvelous. We are victorious. Why? Why? Because you challenged me, that's why! Also, because you didn't have Vault Orb. When Pokemon grow up, they get ugly! They shouldn't evolve! Maybe you should ask your Pokemon and uh, see what the Pokemon thinks. That's probably the best idea. And indeed, because you lied, we were promised Voltorb! Also, definitely using this. There we go. And I think a Super Potion. We need to get you back into fighting shape. Marvelous. Are you feeling better? Excellent. Now, you're level 26, and everyone else is level 26, apart from Zephyrus, who's level 28. Time for you! School is fun, but so are Pokémon! I mean, there's, there's no extra statement here, they're, they're just fun. Leslie has one Pokemon. It's a coughing. Look at how happy the coughing is. Hey, I'm here, everyone. I'm coughing. Nice to meet you. I am a poison type Pokemon, and I poison people. It's my job. I love poisoning people, and I love making people happy. Also, I'm on fire now. It's the greatest thing. And I emit smoke, especially when I'm on fire. I also can sometimes explode. Gotta watch out for when I explode. I tend not to uh, feel very well after exploding, though. It's uh, it's unfortunate. So uh, I've not actually hit you yet, although you did miss. Aha! My cunning strategy is now starting to come to light. I poison you. What's that? You just used an antidote? Well, you're gonna have to use another one. You missed again! Ho ho! Poison! See? I am a genius. You're about to lose. Oh. It would seem that I'm more on fire. And we win! 
you made it clear to me that I should stick with school. We got money. I was planning on getting some fresh air for a change, but we're stuck here because of the gates at Saffron. Now you better teleport away. We'll catch a coughing eventually. Right now, though, it's teleporting time. Teleporting, teleporting here and we're there. And that is the teleporting song. I hope you liked it. It's time to heal our Pokemon back to full health. Done. Full health? And you probably will see us again because there are still more trainers to be uh, defeated along the way. While we're on a bike? I am truly learning. Sometimes people do learn. Oh, there's you. We should probably face you. You're on a motorcycle, though. We're only on a bike. Surely we can't compete. Clear the way, or I'll run you down. But if I do, we'll have to exchange ex insurance information. Wait, wait, what do you mean you're not insured? What do you mean bicycles don't need to be insured? The Pokemon battle! He is quite angry. It's Jaren. And he has a Grimer. Perhaps I should have just stuck with Kadabra, but we're sticking with... Our initial choice here, we need Paper Cup to gain some levels. And I'm glad that missed. Grimer is really surprised. Please don't poison. Didn't poison! Hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Okay, I question why you did that. Considering I'm using special attacks. And greetings, Lord Inquisitor uh, Tazuran. I am well, thank you. My throat is a little bit sore, but uh, otherwise, I'm fine. And we will not switch. Second one will fall just like the first. And that missed again, and I'm very glad for that. No, I just pushed my throat uh, a little too much uh, recording. It happens sometimes. I mean, I use my voice all the time when I'm working on uh, videos, so uh, sometimes you just spend a bit too long recording and your voice gets a bit sore. First time seeing this live on Twitch instead of YouTube. Well, I'm glad to have you here. And we are victorious. And we've gained a level. Level 27. Scary face. Do I want to learn Scary Face? No. <laughs> I just had to remember that that move was rubbish. Victory is ours! You for real, kid? Oh, that we are. Don't think you're all special and all just because of this. Oh, don't worry. I never think I'm special. Let us switch over to, uh, Tarmo. Tarmo's level 26 could do with being level 27. Hello. I'm getting in the way. My bike's acting up, man. Well, let's stop by and uh, see if we can uh, sort it out. Oh, oh, you want to battle? Oh, okay. Ricardo wants to battle and has a coughing. Hello, I'm back. So, um, I'm a little lower level this time, but, uh, Please don't throw money at my face. Now I see that you're ignoring what I'm saying and you're in fact throwing money at my face. Um, I have to retaliate because that's, that's kind of rude. Also, my word I cut through your health really quickly. It's probably better you use something different. Oh, yes, because, uh, well that did it. And that's what happens when you hit Tamo in the face with poison. You get really badly hurt. Coughing. I think we're gonna stick with you and then switch you out. For our Kadabra, because let's face it, Kadabra is most certainly uh, best suited for this. Tackle? Not a poison move? Alright then. He'll just obliterate you then. And that's that. Kapow! Nearly leveled up, we're going to stick with you. 
Every level brings you further away from infinite items. I know, but we need to uh, let Tarmo reach their full potential. Also, still very powerful. And leveling up. How many hit points? Two! That's one more than one! Aw oh, man, I'm not into this. We got money. And more money. I got grass caught up in my spokes, man. Now there's you. And the underground path, Celadon City to Lavender Town. And another gambler. Another gambler. Let us switch to you. Alright, let's play a game! I brought Ludo with me. Pokemon? I suppose we can play that. It's Stan, and he's brought a Poliwag with him. And I brought a bird. This bird is going to keep hitting this Poliwag until Poliwag faints. And it's only going to take two hits. There we go. One down. And another Poliwag! And lurk through new there with a subscription! Five months on a five month streak! There are rocks! Unfortunately, uh, Mr. Dark is not going to be using rocks. We're going to be, uh... Going to be using Quick Attack. I said Ludo, not Cluedo. There's a difference. There's a big difference between the two games. More experience, and a poly whirl. You're a fighting type. You have to be a bit wary. You're also tougher. You can also set my Pokémon to sleep! Okay. Oh, the secret thing is live! You'll post the link at the end of the stream! Uh-oh. You have made me very nervous with that news, Cav 2 k Nervous and excited at the same time. It's quite a secret. It is a secret thing, oh yes! Let us quick attack, and deal with you, and gain a lot of XP! Is it not a uh, fighting type right now? I thought it was. It does no fighting moves, certainly. Wing attack! Ooh! We want this. This is a 60 power flying move, as opposed to a 40 power flying move. Uh, when faced with uh, these two options, I think, uh, we should get rid of Wing Attack. Or rather, Gust. I may use Whirlwind at some point, but I definitely won't use Gust and Wing Attack. And we won! Red! A pouch Came of up gold. short. No nervousness, only happy coughings. I'll certainly uh, try not to be nervous, that's Dardian. Thank you very much for the bit. So very generous. We got lots of money there. Things didn't work out today. That they did not. Does that make any sense? What well, got the ghost? Now, uh, let's switch to, uh, Cabalium. You hit enter accidentally. Ah, well, it happens. You look good in Pokemon, but how is your chemistry game grade? Sorry, nervous. Don't typically, uh, don't typically fight Pokemon battles. Speaking of which, Pokemon battle, I've got four of them. You've got four of them! It's Voltorb, everyone! Hooray! Finally! The Pokemon that we've been wanting to see is here! You didn't let us down, and your reward is that we're going to absolutely defeat you. With Dragon Rage. Finally, the truth! Also, Cabalion is way too powerful for this. We can't capture it. It's a trainer battle. And we have a Magnum. Oh! Okay. Going to switch here. Going to switch into you. Not Paper Cup. Paper Cup does not have enough health. We're going to have to uh, stick with uh, Nadashiko here. It's only level 20. Psybeam should still be sufficient. Steel type, yeah, but look at how effective it is. That's the thing. Nadashiko is so powerful that we can still obliterate it.
two hits. That's all it took. Nadashiko is just so strong. Voltorb. Now we can switch back to uh, Cabania. What is a piece of metal to a god? This, uh... This video? Why would it not see the lights of YouTube? Pretty sure it's gonna go there. Why would it not? And nearly. Oh! There's a charge! And... Bite! To finish off. There we go. All of the um, streams go up eventually, and here's a coughing. Kadabra has strong special attack, but very weak defense. Uh, Kadabra is the definition of a glass cannon. Very fast, hits very hard, but can't take hits. Can't hate, can't take uh, attack hits. Uh, special attack, uh, it can actually take. I'm not gonna unupload it, whatever that means. But we are going to be victorious. There we go. Victory and XP. Oh, meltdown. And conversation. I'm better at school than this. What we're going to be doing right now is we are going to be teleporting away. Don't be unvictorious. Let's go. I don't see what secret is meant to be out. I'm not wearing a hat. I'm not wearing a hat. I, I don't know what secret that is, but I'm not wearing a hat. Let's cycle. Let's cycle some more. And get all the way over to... I don't think we can do anything here right now. No, you're still going to be in the way. You're still going to be in the way. Let's go over here. And talk to you. The department store in Celadon has a great selection. Do you go there very often? Uh, that's not actually me. I, I hate to break it to you. Oh, look! It's another one of these. Are there items here? It's a tunnel! That means we have items to find. Not here, though. What about here? Not here, either. What about here? Not here, either. What about here? I'd rather just uh, keep using the uh, item finder like this. It's alright. We haven't found a single thing. There's apparently nothing here. I mean, he did just explain how to do it, but currently the bike is uh, assigned. I'm not gonna unassign the bike. We're gonna need that bike. It's not that long. We're nearly at the end. The Tunnel of Lies. There's the way out, and guess what? There was not a single item in here. None. I heard a sleepy Pokemon appeared out near Ooh, Celadon City a too. Of gold. I have the tools to remove hats. That you do. Good thing we don't have one. Here we are, Route 7. Let's have a look around Route 7. There's you there. That's the other side of this. Now, we could go over here and check out what's in the grass. Anything at all? It's an Oddish. It's a relatively high level Oddish. Don't really need, uh, need that Oddish, though. Let's, uh, go away from here, and there is indeed an item here. It's, uh, a pear berry. Let's look around here a bit more and see if there's anything else. It's a meow. I mean, we'll attack it. It's not going to poison us. It's kind of what I was worried about uh, with fighting the Oddish. And kapow! Nearly! 
Now we can't say with uh, Dragon Rage that we'll uh, get a few more levels and then it'll be more powerful because Dragon Rage I'm pretty sure has a set amount of uh, damage. I believe it's 40. We'll do one more thing. And it's another Meow. You can be waiting quite a while, HK Traden, because uh, odds are not on our side. We're just going to leave this, uh, this bit and go this way. Over here. To Celadon City. That is currently... has a problem. Keep out of Team Rocket's way. Uh, Alright then. Let's go in here. I rode here from Fuchsia. It's an uphill ride on Cycling Road, so I'm exhausted. A Poke Flute awakens sleeping Pokémon. You know that. It does so with a sound that only they can hear. If I had a bike, I would go to Cycling Road. But you don't! So, no Cycling Road for you. We can't do that, no, we have to drive them out. We have to... we have to drive them out. Now, let us go and look around this place. On our bike? But first, we're going this way. Oh, don't think I don't know about this place. First, there's an ether. And then over here, there's nothing. But if we go here, and up, and up, and up, and all the way on the roof, there's this. There is nothing that I don't know, like I wrote on the blackboard. I know about the world of Pokémon in your Game Boy Advance. Get together with your friends and enjoy trading Pokémon! I'm breaking the fourth wall! That's right, Kakaskia. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the person out there. Hey, how's it going? You seem to be doing pretty well. You gonna be taking that Pokeball over there? I think you are. But the question is, are you gonna roll? You should probably roll, it's only fair after all. Yes, you should. So, let's just take this. It's an Eevee, everyone! Just there! For us to have! Yay! Do we want to give a nickname to this Eevee? Lots of people are going to want to be called the... to be uh, the name of the Eevee. Now, uh... We're gonna roll for this because it is fair. It is fair, we have to roll. If we don't roll, people would complain. So, we're rolling for Eevee. Who's gonna be Eevee? Mortal! That's who's gonna be Eevee! Congratulations, Mortal! In the end... As we've seen in Lavender Town... That's what... I accidentally misspelled it. You are, uh, not Mortak, but Mortal. Do you demand a reroll? There are no rerolls here. Free Eevee? Suspicious. Nope, not suspicious at all. There is the name. Eevee was transferred to Bill's PC. Ta-da! It's a free V, Indeed. Let us go. Down. 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 Going to read the board? Okay. We're going up. Someone wants to read the board. We're reading the board. Over here. Back in. Pokemon Lecture. Playing with the wireless adapter. Which heading do you want to read? Oh boy! There's so much to read here. The Pokemon Wireless Club is upstairs at any Pokemon Center. Visit one to link up with friends using your wireless adapter. Which heading do you want to read? The direct corner. To link only with a friend, go to the direct corner. It is the right corner at the Pokemon Wireless Club. Go into the trade corner or the Colosseum with your friend. Which heading do you want to read? Union Room. To link and communicate with anyone, go to the Union Room. It is the left corner at the Pokemon Wireless Club. 
go to the union room and enjoy meeting other trainers. Which heading do you want to read? We're done! We are done! We've read everything! And now... Oh, this, uh, by the way... I know everything! He apparently knows everything. He might also be lying. Let's go down... Down... And out. And get back on our bike! And head into that building. Who I'm talking to you. This is my trusted pal, Polyrath. It evolved from a Polywhirl when I used the Water Stone. Hello! Let's look at you from here. We're quite angry. Trailer tips. X accuracy boosts the accuracy of techniques. Dire hit jacks up the likelihood of critical hits. Get your items up and sell it on department store. If he knows everything, does he know the number of Pokemon we're up to now? Probably. Ah, uh, ow! I scalded my tongue. This nice old lady in the mansion gave me some tea, but it was boiling hot. I've got to cool it to drink it. It's the Celadon Mansion. Let's go in. We're going to talk to you last. We're going upstairs. Have a look around. Go into here, for instance. It's the Game Freak meeting room. <gasps> There's nobody here. I was promised a meeting and all I was given was lies. All there are are lies. There's nobody even here. This place is empty. Oh wait, they're in here. It's the Game Freak development room. Let's talk to everyone, starting with you. Is that right? I'm the game designer. Filling up your Pokédex is tough, but don't quit! When you finish, come tell me! We're likely never gonna tell you. I'm the graphics designer! I drew you! Yes! You are my creation! What am I doing in here? That's a complicated question. It's best not to think about it. Really, it's best not to. Me? I'm the programmer. That's all I have to say. Please leave. It's the game program! Messing with it could bug out the game! We are totally gonna mess with it. Well, the game won't let me. Darn it. And finally... I wrote the story! Isn't Erica cute? I like Misty a lot too. Oh, and Sabrina! I like her! But my favourite Pokémon is Fred! Wait, 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 where are you going? I was gonna tell you about- Oh, everybody does that when I mention Fred! And now, we're up here. What's up here? Nothing. Nothing at all. Let's go down. But before we leave, we're going to go in here. So what a mansion. Manager's suite. It's a Clefairy. It's a Nidoran female. There's a Meowth! It's a telephone! Better not use it! And finally... You! You are here because of a potential, uh, game-breaking problem in Gen 1. I know! Game-breaking problems? In Gen 1? They never happened! They totally did. You needed to, uh, buy something in the original uh, Gen 1 games to get into the city uh, that all those guards are guarding. If you had found a way to make sure that there was no possible way for you to get any money, or any Pokémon like Meowth that could get you money, and you hadn't bought the item, you could never get into that city. And thus, you could never actually beat the game. The same applied for the uh, Safari Zone in Red and Blue. Not in Yellow, though. In Yellow, they actually sorted that. What about trading for a Meowth? If you only have one Pokémon, I'm not sure you can trade. But if by that point you're actually trying to find somebody to trade, it might just be better to start again. But either way, this woman alleviates the problem. You shouldn't spend all your money on drinks like you would have done in Gen 1. Try this instead. Here's some tea. Nothing beats thirst like some hot tea. It really is the best. We'll be giving the guard that tea. 
Glad to go and explore some more. Ooh, the department store. We might be there a while. Also, gonna totally ruin this kid's fun. We can stay here all day. She'll just keep trying to run. And we'll never, ever, ever let her move. In this one, there is the Versus Seeker as well, so you can get infinite money. There wasn't that in Gen 1, though. I got my coughing in Cinnabar. It's usually nice, but it breeds poison when it's angry. Th that doesn't sound good. That sounds kind of bad. Celadon takes pride in its efforts to keep the city beautiful. That's why the new game corner is bad for our city's image. Oh, we'll be going there soon enough. Don't worry. We'll be going there soon enough, too. Also, we'll, we'll be seeing you soon as well, but not right now. Moon. I blew it all up the slots. I knew I should have cashed in my coins for prizes. Anything down here? There's you. What are you staring at? Get lost or I'll punch you. We're going to, uh, cut this down. See what's over here. Oh, it was, a uh, Moan Not Moon? Oops. Ah, well. Ooh, this here. <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of women. You know you're staring at a sign, right? Let's not mention that. So we can just go into here, if we want to. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Turn off the power. Nope, we won't do that. We are going to switch to Paper Cup. This is Paper Cup's time to shine. Sword on Pokemon Gym. Leader Erica. Winning trainers, Grouch. Grouch. Well, they both say the same thing. The winning trainer is Grouch. Now, we could avoid all these trainers, but you know what? No. I should tell you about this gym. Only real ladies are allowed in here. What about fire Pokemon? It's Kay! She has two Pokemon! Here's a Bellsprout! Level 23. Okay, I feel like I'm a bit overleveled for this, Jim. I feel like I'm a bit overleveled. Oh well, I'm not gonna say no. Ooh, Weeping Bell. That might be a little bit tougher. No, nope, level 23. Higher stats, but still. Ooh, you survived. Darn it. It's okay. We're still good. We'll just wake up eventually. Eventually. I mean, we'll take a tiny amount of damage every round, but this really isn't going to hurt us that much. It's fine. We'll wake up next round. It'll be fine. I mean, there was a critical hit there, but, but don't worry. It's fine. We're still asleep. But, you know, we're just taking it easy. Taking more damage. Okay, now we're just napping needlessly. And thus, Weeping Bell defeated the Paper Cup, who decided to have a nap and just stayed asleep. Until we woke up! And then what? Haha! -ha! Victory is ours on a lot of XP. You're too rough. We got money! That was literally just a mock. Blech! I hope Erica wipes you out! Speaking of, uh, being wiped out, we need to heal. Took a bit of damage there. We'll use these potions. Might as well. You're so weak I can take a nap. Don't worry, it's not, uh, disobedience, it's just being asleep. Oh, welcome. I was getting bored. Well, don't worry. Things are about to get on fire. It's Bridget! And it's an Oddish! Look at how happy the Oddish is! It's the happiest Oddish in the whole gym. And now, it's on fire! No, no, no. Things are on fire. Like, like, literally on fire. 
And here's a bell sprout. And it's on fire too. This is Paper Cup's time literally to shine. This one gym. This gym is, hey, did you pick Charmander? Well, in which case, you win. Just, just, you win. You can pretty much one-shot every Pokemon by this point. Does Kiko always prefer star fire starters? Well, if I look at my pluses to the uh, left here, I have a Charmander, which is my uh, starter from blue. I have Cyndaquil, which was my starter from Heart Gold, and I have Score Bunny, which was my starter in Shield. Yeah, quite like them. Also, here's a Bell Sprout. Oh, also, there's Eevee from uh, Let's Go Eevee. Honorary uh, Fire Time. And there's the last one. Victory is ours. My makeup. You know, I was a. Uh, I was hitting the Pokemon there, not you. Grass-type Pokemon are tough against the Water-type. They also have an edge on Rock and Ground-type Pokemon. But if you didn't know this by now, really, how did you get here? Hello. Weren't you peeking in here earlier? No, that's the guy outside who actually is staring at the wall. And it's Tina, who has a Bulbasaur! Look how happy the Bulbasaur is! It's the happiest starter. It's also on fire. It survived, though. Uh, Vine Whip really isn't going to do very much, though. Oh, uh, I wasn't uh, referring to the Eevee evolving, because in Let's Go Eevee, the Eevee cannot evolve. And here's an Ivysaur. This one's going to be tougher. Purely because of higher stats. Crying over you burning her Pokemon, it'd be fine. Pokey Center will- Oh look! History is repeating itself. Now, you're asleep. It's alright, we'll wake up. Eventually. It's fine. Okay, that's not fine. That is a high crit chance move. Okay, admittedly it's not going to do very much to us because we are a fire type. Look, we're awake this time. We're not using an awakening uh, thing, we're just going to wait. The gym is so easy, Paper Cup fell asleep from boredom. You're an eye-opener! Oh, you were looking at Erica. You weren't looking at me. Actually, I, I, I can't see Erica at all. Also, we're gonna go around this way to talk to you. Hello. Look, look! See my Pokémon! I like the grass type. I like how they're easy to raise. You know what else they're easy to do? Burn. It's Tamiya, with a bell sprout. It's level 24. They're getting tougher. But so are we. And that's another one gone. More experience, level 29. And another bell sprout. We're even tougher now, so uh, good luck is all I'm going to say. So long. Victory is ours. No! Yes, we won! When does uh, Charmedian gain wings? Level 36, I think? We only use Grass-type Pokémon at our gym. Why? We also use them for making flower arrangements. That makes sense. Let's go into here. And use Cut. And talk to you. Welcome to Silverdon Gym. You better not underestimate the nice ladies here. Shouldn't this introduction have been at the very beginning? Also, the person that gives us advice, this is cool trainer Mary, by the way, was not actually in this gym. And here's a bell sprout. You have five Pokemon. You have five Pokemon. We only have 12 uses of this left. We may actually run out before we can get to Erica, which means, of course, we will have to go back and then heal. But we were going to do that anyway. Here's an Oddish. Who's going to be level 22 or so? Yep. You may have lots of Pokémon. But they're all really... Ooh! You lived! And 
that's going to make this fight a little bit complicated because you just paralyzed Paper Cup. But that does mean that, uh... Oh, ho, ho, ho! A Super Potion! Okay! You're healing them! Interesting! Fortunately, that still worked. Metal Claw should help too. True! But we all use all our, all our uh, embers first. Weeping Bell. It's not cheating, to be fair. I could do it too. I'm just not. Uh-oh. Growth increases special attack. And we can't move! Darn it. That's not going to do very much, though. Ember? There we go. More experience? Wow. And here's a Gloom! Not going to switch away. One away from the Vile Plume. I think we'll be seeing a Vile Plume in this uh, final gym fight here. Are there any uh, grass legendaries in Gen 3? Not sure if there are. Oh, you're going to heal. Not for a lot, though. <laughs> really not for a lot. And there we go. And 621 experience. Level 30. Marvelous. Plus two to all my stats. And an Ivy Sword to finish it off. I thought Celebi was psychic. Maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, Razor Leaf. Not going to do very much, though. Well, see you later, Bahamut Zero Dragon. Take it easy. We're probably going to have to leave uh, the gym and come back in a bit. Because, uh, or rather after we've healed, because uh, we are running low on Ember and health. More experience, though. Oh, beaten. That you were. I didn't bring my best Pokemon. Wait till next time. Uh, there's not going to be a next time. There is not going to be a next time. Let us uh, use our teleport to get away. Now, we could be using uh, Kadabra, because a lot of uh, grass Pokemon in this generation are... The um, psychic type as well. Also, Wintermute Omega with five months. Thank you very much. So very generous. Give her another chance, Kiko. She had uh, she hadn't had her best units. Well, <laughs> that is uh, what they would say is a uh, her problem. It's not my problem. I only had to uh, defeat her once, and that's exactly what I did. I want to go over here. Uh, no, not all grass Pokémon are. Uh, Tangler in Gen 1 was just grass type. It was the only non-grass uh, poison uh, Pokémon. It was the only one. Now we're going to do this. And take on you two. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokémon training. My hobby is fire! You mean fire Pokemon? Nope, nope, at the moment it's just fire. I mean, I have other Pokemon. Also, you have an Execute. It's level 24. Oh yes, there is also an Execute Grass Psychic, but the only pure Grass type was Tangular. Mayhem. And Wintermute Omega there gifted a sub to Demon Dragon. Three subs gifted. Thank you very much. So very generous of you. Thank you. And we won! Oh, splendid! Exterminator! I see what you did there, Cav! I have a blind date coming up. I have to learn to be polite, especially if I have to battle. And you. Oh, hey! We don't like bug or fire type Pokemon in here. Oh, I bet you don't, because... Grass type. And it's Lisa! She has an Oddish! It's level 23! It's about to go exactly the same way as all the other fights here. But we have Ember. Kapow. And that's victory. And here's a Gloom! This is literally the gym of We Use Ember. The other gym, uh, Surges, was We Use Dig. 
very much in uh, these uh, games, a lot of it is, hey, do you have the move that wins? You win! Especially in the uh, single player content. And with that, we're ready to face Erika. Oh, you! Our leader Erika might be quiet, but she's famous around here. That she is. Let us save. And let us go. It's time. Hello. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am leader of the Celadon Gym. I am a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokémon are solely of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Here we go! Here is Erica, who has three Pokémon. The first is a Victory Bell that is level 29! Oh yes! You thought all the other ones were, well, you know, low levels, it'll be fine. Level 29. So this is going to be a more difficult one. Especially when we're paralyzed. But if we're paralyzed, we can't be poisoned and we can't be put to sleep. So I'll take it. This is still gonna hurt. But so is the fire. One down. 1,186 experience. And a level. Marvelous. And now it's Tangela. We don't want to switch here. This is the uh, pure grass type. There it is. It's going to use Ingrain. Planted its roots. We can't do anything. Oh dear. That's a move I want. That's Giga Drain. It's not really going to do very much against us, but uh, it's a move. Whoa! <laughs> and that's the end of Tangela. 853 experience. And finally, it's Vile Plume. Can we deal with Vile Plume? Vile Plume is level 29 and is the happiest Pokemon we've ever seen. Hi! I'm here! Ta da! And faster than us because of the uh, paralysis. But, fire. And, it only took a third health off. This is going to be a fight. We need to be careful. Never mind! Critical hit! Oh, and I go! 1,143. Level 32. Played with fire. And it got incinerated. We won. Oh, I concede defeat. You are remarkably strong. I must confer on you the rainbow badge. 2,900 Poké Dollars. Marvelous. The rainbow badge will Mayhem. make Pokémon up to level 50 obey. And thank you, Eshaktar, for the subscription. Full month streak. Hello. Hello indeed. How are you? Are you well? It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. TM19. TM19 contains Giga Drain. Oh ho 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 We've got it. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? Yes. Yes, I would. You are cataloging Pokemon? I must say I'm impressed. I would never collect Pokemon if they were unattractive. I think we've done what we need to here. And you know what? I think it's time to, before we end, and heal. Um, we need to heal as well. We're gonna go and, uh... Also, somebody wanted me to uh, check something. Let's uh, go back. This does mean we need to cut again, but... Uh, They've already written that we won! Hurrah! I'm actually going to use teleport this time. 
now we are going to go and pay a visit to... Ooh, also, you have an item. What do you have? Okay! Give me another hidden power, Tarmo! That makes three. Whoa. You're just making sure I have loads of them for the, uh... For the end. Now, let us, uh... Okay, I think I have enough TM10 now. Nope! Those aren't a high chance to get. No, they are not. No, they are not. We may be, uh... Trying to get Porygon in a bit. But not this time. <laughs> Got you covered. Gonna keep stealing all them TM10s. What we're gonna do is we are going to, uh... Save first. Then we are going to, uh, Tamo, go grab us an Onyx, please, if only. We're going to pop into the Celadon department store. We're not going to examine it fully, but we are going to go in. Because there's one item we want. I think we want the second floor. We're going to, don't worry. Uh, no... It's not you. Is it you? No. I am looking for a particular vendor. Is it you? Oh. I'm, uh... I'll talk to you later. I'm looking for... Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Hi there. We want a... Leaf stone. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. We have lots of money. And we're going to uh, save and do two things. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna leave because uh, we want to do this while we are outside in the sun. Also, we get to show off the lift. Floor one. Not waiting until you learn moonlight. I mean, what level is uh? What level is uh? Moonlight learnt at? That is a good question. So I may want to wait for Moonlight. I may want to wait. 35. We could wait for that. We'll actually wait for that. But it doesn't learn Giga Drain naturally, does it? I'm pretty sure it doesn't learn Giga Drain. So I'm going to have to use that. So, cut, flash, Giga Drain. Use. Only one Pokemon can learn it! And we want to learn the move Giga Drain! Let's do so. And replace Absorb, which is 20 power. We only get five uses of it, but it is 60 power. It is ridiculously strong. It is ridiculously strong, so let us replace it. One, two, and... Kapow! We forgot Absorb! CD to my head! And we learned Giga Drain. Perfect. We bought the Leaf Stone so that we can, uh... Evolve... Gloom later. Do you have some PP up that you could throw at that? Probably! I mean, we'll have a look. What do we have? Um, no, we, we have none of them. We have none of them at all. Quick question, can you replay Command & Conquer when the remaster's released? I mean, I don't know if I will anytime soon. Hint of the eastern tree that can be cut east of the game corner. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Let's have a look. Is it over here somewhere? Let's uh, have a look. Bag. Item finder. 
Aha! Claims it's up here. Hmm. There it is! Found it! PP up again! We're not going to be using it just yet, but it's something to hold on to. I may find a different move I want. Actually, to be fair, we're probably going to be keeping Zephyrus on the, uh, for the entire thing, so we really want to use it on that. So let's do that. It's all the way down here. PP up. On Giga Drain. There we go! Now if we check, uh, this move... And the Pokémon. Let's have a look. Summary. Now it has six uses! That one use really makes all the difference on a move with only five. Level 44 for Petal Dance. Not likely gonna be using that really. Also, you said there was a healing... What move is it specifically at level 35? What does it do? Because if it's a healing move, I'm not actually that bothered about it because I have Giga Drain. I mean, Giga Drain's pretty good. I mean, currently we have a nice selection of uh, moves. Moonlight is a healing move that varies with... Oh, I'm not going to be using that. I'm really not going to be using that at all. I'll, I'll forget to use it. Trust me on that one. I will forget. Is there another poison move that we can get, though? I mean, there's probably a move that we can teach instead of Acid. Um, too bad TMs in this gem are one-time users. Indeed! Indeed, but there are TRs now in Gen 8 as well as TMs. Toxic? Ooh, yes, good call. Toxic might be good, but then again we get rid of uh, Poison Powder for that. Is there something else that we could put there? The only move you learn... Are uh, by level up is 26. We got Tarmo, find those TMs. We could teach it Hidden Power and see what that is. We could always do that. That might be interesting. But I do think uh, Sludge Bomb is another choice. I think Sludge Bomb might be a decent choice, but anyway... Uh, Sludge Bomb is taught by the uh, TM that we get from defeating Koga, am I right? I imagine uh, Zephyrus will be able to learn that. Also, I'm just going to stand here for the moment. Well, thank you very much, Dazdardian, and thank you for uh, being here in the uh, stream. It's in the Rocket Hideout, apparently. See you later! Koki gave Toxic in the GB original. You know what? I'm going to save... I don't think there are any moves that I want um, Zephyrus to learn. I think we're done with learning moves naturally with Zephyrus. We'll be learning other moves using uh, TMs. Which means... It's time. It's time. Leafstone was used on Zephyrus. What? Zephyrus is evolving! Now it will gain... Ultimate power. Unlimited power! The power of... Being happy! It's a vile plume! You can see its face, screaming silently forever! Hooray! Now we have a vile blue. It's so happy! Look at it! Look at how happy it is! Yay! We have a pearl to sell, that's true. We'll sell that next time. For I think we have done quite a lot already in this stream. We have, uh... Gone through, uh, an area. We've, uh, beaten our rival. We've beaten a gym. And soon we will explore the Celadon department store properly, and then see about checking out that game corner. Lots of headway, lots of headway. I'm gonna destroy us all with a smiling face! 
Oh, vile plume. You can't not be you. And that's why we think you're awesome. Next week, sell pearl, get coin basket, get coins, gamble, raid hideout. We spent half the stream buying soft drinks. I mean, maybe. You're already a department store. <laughs> Chlorophyll department store. Well, thank you very much for being here. Is it time? There are a few things I want to mention first, Cav2K. First, the usual, that uh, I do have a uh, Discord where we tend to talk about all manner of things, mostly related to uh, games and the like. I'm usually there. There are rocks there as well. There's even Fred. If you want to check that out, there's uh, links on this page in the uh, About section on my channel, in the video descriptions, and all kinds of other places, and Kikoskia.com. Secondly, I have a Patreon where people can pledge to help me do what I'm doing right now, which is playing uh, Pokemon for you and also uh, recording all of my videos. There's nothing hidden behind the paywalls or anything like that because there are no paywalls. The paywall is non-existent. The only thing that uh, you get is uh, a different coloured name in Discord, if you want it. Any money uh, pledged goes towards supporting what I do. I'm mangling this uh, because I'm quite nervous and excited about what I'm going to be uh, announcing in a bit. Which is pretty much now. So, um, for a little while on my um, Discord, lots of people know that I write. And I, I write a lot about a lot of stuff and uh, very passionate about writing, but lots of people have been saying, but Kiko, we want to see some of your writing. We want to uh, read something of yours. And while I'm not going to be showing you anything from my main story, there is... There may be something. There may be something. Now's the time for you to put that link up. Whenever you're ready, Cap. Hey! What's that? It's a link to a thing that you can find on Kikoskia.com. It may only be Chapter 1, but there's something for you. I know! Shocking! Seriously? Seriously. Go give it a read if you like. Christmas came early. It's just the first chapter. But hey, first time. First time for anything. A wild link has appeared. And with that, whether it be morning, afternoon, or evening, I hope you have a good rest of your night. And give it a bit of a read. It's, it's not especially long, but uh, it's there. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then later. And this is when somebody reads the first sentence and already they're going, I do not like this at all. You started the sentence with a word and I do not like words. Words are anathema. Anathema to my soul. See? Yep. I knew it was a joke, but see, it started. I kid, I kid. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know and all sorts of stuff and uh Yeah, I'm rambling. And so, I'll catch you next time folks. And I'll see you then. Later. <laughs> because your real name is Kiko. Oh dear. My name is the worst kept secret ever. And so, I'm actually gonna press the end stream button. It's gonna happen. It's happening now. Panic! Just remember, Valplume's face. Last thing you think about before the stream ends, 